What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have another massive announcement before we get into a pretty epic legendary pack opening. We have a quick giveaway before we get into the announcement. We got three original trap cards. We got a first edition backup soldier. Just like the video, be subscribed and let me know what you think about the announcement. First, a quick announcement. We still have a few packs left in this Labyrinth of Nightmare booster box break that we're going to be doing on YouTube, either tomorrow or Wednesday. I haven't decided yet. Depends on when we sell out, etc. So check that out on Ruxin34.com if you want to be in it. And the big announcement, we will be doing a Legend of Blue Eyes first edition box break on YouTube. I'm going to be selling these packs on Ruxin34.com. Someone came to me, one of my friends, and he has a Legend of Blue Eyes box and he wanted to break it. So we're going to do it on the channel. So I'm going to be selling the packs for him. So check out Ruxin34.com. If you guys are interested, check that out. You can buy as many packs as you want. There's not a limit. And it's going to be a little bit different than our normal box breaks. So normally we just open every single pack. This time we're planning on opening every pack, but you will have the option if we pull both ultras before the end of the box and you want to keep your pack sealed and you're in the chat, you can let us know and we will keep it sealed. So that's sort of like a backup so let's say if we pulled like blue eyes and you know an exodia limb or something you didn't want to search for the secret or a super rare you would rather keep your pack sealed you can do that so that's kind of another option you have just in case you don't want to just open the pack when you know you're not going to get an ultra or you're probably not going to get an ultra so go check that out if you're interested first edition legend of blue eyes box break we're going to try and sell out before the end of the month i think we will do it at the end of the month if we have sold out by then they are going to be very expensive i'm going to let you guys know that up front, it is first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. They're not cheap, but if we can sell them out, we will do it at the end of the month, like the tw I think the 28th or something, that date. If we haven't sold out, we'll have to push it back to another date. So for this month, this weekend, this coming Saturday, we're opening all 2004 10s. The next weekend, we're opening packs until we pull the Stardust Starlight, which could be like a 12 hour stream potentially if we don't pull it. You know, we have 10 different cases to open. The next weekend, I'm hoping we can do the special edition opening. I'm still looking for Ultimate Edition 1. Some people have you know, offered it to me and then just it just hasn't worked out. So hit me up if you guys have that one. I think that's the last one I need. I could be wrong. I need to double check. There's a lot of different things. It's really kind of a fine line of what's a special edition and what's not. So I'm just kind of grabbing everything that's kind of like a special edition. We're going to do the cool stuff like Light and Darkness Power Pack, Forbidden Legacy, all that kind of stuff. Like that's actually more like a special edition, has iconic packs, all that stuff, rather than just a bunch of like random packs. And then if we have the LOB sellout, that'll be four weekends in a row with an absolutely massive opening. So there's a lot to be excited for if you're buying or if you're not, you get to watch the channel no matter what, which is the benefit. Four awesome weekends in a row. I'm super excited about it, guys. Let's get into the actual opening, which is actually gonna be a lot of fun today. We have eight of these, I'm not totally sure, eight of these Invasion of Chaos Dark Crisis. And then to add a little bit of variety, we got some single packs with Pharaoh Servant, Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, uh, Legend of Blue Eyes, stuff like that, and then some repeats. So we've got a ton of legacy packs to open today. So we've got a huge announcements, and then we get into the opening. I'm so excited about this month, guys. It could be an awesome month. Make sure you guys subscribe. Also, don't forget 100K Retro Pack 2 opening, Metal Raiders First Edition pack opening, plus more probably. So a lot to look forward to. We're like 16K away from 100,000, which is absolutely nuts i'm so excited to get there we're five minutes into the video let's start opening i hope you guys uh, don't mind a little bit of chatting when it's talking about big openings coming up so i'm actually going to stack these over here because it's i think the the camera seems the camera aka my iphone for all you guys who ask focuses a lot better when there's not a ton of stuff in the background so that's why i try to keep it off camera so you guys can get a little bit better view of the packs we're opening okay a guard guardian Iatos. that's a cool card it's from the uh Yugi's, no, Yugi's World. Yeah, not Yugi's Legendary Decks. Yeah, the Yugi's World Promos. It's with the Seal of Ori Calculus, I believe. Okay, our first Legendary Pack. I think we have 24 total packs here. These were sent to me by a viewer. Well, not sent. I bought them, but I appreciate him uh, hooking me up with these, so thanks a lot. Battle Footballer. Always love to open the, the, the reprints. They're good. Dog Marin. Maju Garzette. And a legendary flame lord, the troll ritual, who's always in here. Yeah, I'm extremely excited. We have so many big openings coming up, guys. It's gonna be awesome. And that's not even mentioning the whatnot openings. Uh, we have like two or three big openings that I know of coming up that will be announced, you know, closer to when they're actually gonna happen. Um, so check those out as well. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And then of course those will always be on YouTube, so you guys can see them. DD Scout Plane. It's always in the Invasion of Chaos. It's always DD Scout Plane. Um, yeah, super rare. First hit, not bad. All right, Berserk Gorilla. Oh, Manju. Okay, good start, good start. Next pack, we got the Pharaoh Servant. Guys, it has actually been a while since we pulled Jinza. We were on a streak where we pulled like seven of them. 
And now we have not pulled one in a while. So let's see if we can pull the Genzo. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's see if we can do it. Also, um, I didn't mention this yet, but we should be having a PSA return this week. The huge one. And, um, I'll sing my tiger. If you guys didn't see my last Prohibition, it's actually a really good rare. If you guys didn't see my last PSA video, check it out. It was very, it was quite disappointing. Um, but hopefully that will turn around in the next one. I am hoping that our big sub does not get destroyed like the last one. Um, we're just going to have to see what happens. But uh, it seems like it seems like they've gotten a lot tougher. So we're going to find out probably later this week, which is pretty exciting. I'm a little worried about it, to be honest. But let's get into these packs. Let's see what we can do with Metal Raiders. Punished Eagle, Guardian of the Labyrinth, and a Little Chimera. All right, Immortal of Thunder. We need to mix these up. We don't want to do all the singles at once. Let's go like over here. Yeah, there we go. Let's go back to Dark Crisis IOC. Can we pull a big secret rare? Dark Crisis, guys. You know what I haven't pulled out of here? Vampire Lord. I've never pulled a Vampire Lord. We have a Snow Plow Hustle Russell. That's interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Let's do this. I'm actually super excited about that uh, Stardust opening too, guys. So if you guys want to hang out for a really long time, Terror King Archfiend is super rare. Um, you're going to want to be here in two Saturdays because I'm probably going to be opening packs for a very, very long time live on YouTube. Assuming we don't get lucky and hit the Starlight early, but Starlights are one every two cases. So even if we hit it as the first Starlight, we're probably going to have to open like one or two cases to even get it. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. Anti-air clap flower. We got the smashing ground. Gora turtle. Sasuke Samurai number three. Sasuke. All right, there we go. Crimson Ninja. I've been finishing up uh, Shippuden for Naruto. Finally. I, I took a long, long break. Ooh, nice. Neo Spatian. That's pretty cool. I uh, took a long break, but I'm glad I'm continuing it because it's getting really good right now. No spoilers in the comments. All right, here we go. Let's go. Contract with Dark Master. We got the Acrobat Monkey. DD Trainer. DD Warrior Lady. Okay, that's a pretty good one. That's a good one for GOAT format. That's a really nice card. DD Warrior Lady. It looks so much different on the reprint. It just looks way different. All right, still a great card, though. We got the uh, the Lunatite. Gaga Gigo and Ojama Green. Invasion of Chaos. Let's do this. Let's pull ourselves a Chaos Ember Dragon or the Blackluster Soldier. Will it ever happen? Jade and Sekwa, so we got a Chaos Sorcerer. Guys, Invasion of Chaos, DD Scout Plane. Every time. Every stinking time. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. We got it. Two uh, DD Scout Planes. Let's go into this Spell Ruler pack. And can we pull the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon? We weren't lucky enough to pull it in our last MRL box. I just threw that pack. Let's see if we can do it now. Spell ruler. Okay. We've got a queen bird. Turtle oath. Minar. Psychic Kappa. And the Mangu Rai Ran. Alright, Mangu Rai Ran. The Malevolent Nuzzler. We're still looking. We're still searching for more for more pulls here. A lot of packs to go. So far we've pulled a few supers. Is that it? It's alright. Let's see what this is. The six samurai. Yariza, is that Raw Yellow Mega Pack First Edition? That's actually, I mean, they're actually giving out okay cards. Like, not absolutely worthless cards right now, which is nice. Okay. Invasion of Chaos first this time. Chaos Sorcerer. We got the DD Borderline. Gale Lizard. And the Chain Disappearance. Dawn Turtle. And the Chop Man, the Desperate Outlaw. Let's go to the Dark Crises. Rod of Silence Chaos. We got the Shadow Knight Archfiend. Drag down to the grave. Guardian Grarl. There he is. The Guardian Grarl. I think I pulled this first edition from my box. My first edition box, didn't we? I actually really like this card. I think he looks really cool. He's like a dinosaur with an axe. I mean, a buff dinosaur. So that's pretty cool. He has like a T-Rex head, but he doesn't have the battle scar. He doesn't have the uh, T-Rex arms, which are very small. Okay, that's a cool one. I'll take that, our first Ultra. You don't pull a lot of Guardian Grarl, it seems like, on the channel. Oh, look. We got a Pendulum Monster. That's from uh, Shadows and Valhalla Limited. So it looks like some sort of promo. Maybe it's a Special Edition promo. We're going to be opening those soon. Okay, Dark 
Crisis. We got the token Thanksgiving checkmate, Frozen Soul, Rod of Silence Chaos, and the Fear from the Dark. Another Invasion of Chaos pack. Let's go. IOC has provided us with two DD Scout planes so far. We got a Gale Lizard, Witch Doctor of Chaos, a Hero Emerges, Cannonball Spear Shellfish, Mataz of the Zapper. Okay. Okay, let's go into this Pharaoh Servant. What did we get last time? Nothing, I think. We got Prohibition, which is not bad. Not a bad card. Oh, I thought there was a promo, but there's not. <laughs> or an extra card, I should say. It's not really a promo. We've got a Sword Hunter. We got a Metal Detector. Invitation to a Dark Sleep. World Suppression. Red Moon Baby. And a Three Headed Guido. Let's save this LOB for last. We got MRD. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, three double blisters over here. Three doubles left. That means we have six, ten more packs, something like that. We have a Time Magic Hammer from Dark Revelation 1. Dark Crisis. Let's go. Whew. Acrobat Monkey. Battle Footballer. Shinano's Ark. Dark Master Zork. We got a Ritual card. That's pretty cool. Dark Master Zork, a super rare. Not the Shinado that I would like. But uh, Zork's pretty cool. We got an Archfiend Soldier. We got a Battle Scarred. We got a Vile Pawn and the Master Scorpion guy. <laughs> the, the Scorpion guy. All right, Invasion of Chaos. So far, it's not giving us anything crazy, unless you count DD Scout playing being crazy. There's an alarm. There's a car alarm going off in the background. Witch Doctor of Chaos. We got a Chain Disappearance, Chaos End, and Chaos Necromancer. It's still going off back there, so I hope you guys can't hear that. Spell Ruler. Here we go. We've got. Two spell ruler left. Yugi, come on. Bring us something good. Spell ruler. Magical labyrinth. We got a house of adhesive tape. Curse of fiend. Confiscation. It's a good card. I mean, it's definitely good. Confiscation super rare. Pay a thousand life points. Look at your opponent's hand. Select one card among them and discard it to the graveyard. To the graveyard. All right. We got a molten destruction. Let's go to the second spell ruler, okay? So we got two of each left. Two of each blister, I should say. Send them to the graveyard. Let's go. We got a spell ruler pack. Our last one of the video. Definitely not of all time. We'll definitely open some more at some point. Whiptail Crow. Oh! Ruxin special right into the back-to-back -back confiscation. My deck would be dirty back in the day. You know, as a kid, you know, whipping out two confiscations. It, it wasn't actually legal, I don't think, for very long like that. But I'm sure as a kid, I didn't know the ban list. I know I didn't, actually. So, I, would, I was playing two Raigekis. So, I, I, you know, I was just straight creaming people out there. I had two confiscations, two Raigekis. I would have been waxing. I would have been on fire. Okay. Blade Garuda the Cubic Beast. All right. Like Garuda the Wind Spirit? Is that who that is? All right. Dark Crisis. I don't know. Maybe... Next, Dark Crises. Non spell casting area. Guardian Cast. Our first time Vampire Lord Secret Rare! We've finally done it! Yes! Our first time pulling the Vampire Lord. Oh, yeah! We're breaking streaks like crazy. We got Buster Blader, now we got Vampire Lord. Ooh, yeah, check that guy out. That's pretty cool, actually. I like this card. He's got that nice uh, punk rock hair or whatever that is. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It looks good, too. The thing they did right with the reprints, the Secret Rare foiling looks pretty good. I'll give them that. The rest of the card, I don't love too much compared to the old one, but I do like the Secret. It looks good. Okay, Chaos Sorcerer. Continuing on, we just hit one we've never hit. Now we're on Invasion of Chaos. Can we hit another we've never hit? The Black Luster Soldier. Burning Algae. Stealth Bird. Okay, that's it. Engraged Battle Locks. Unfortunately, not that one. Maybe in this last one over here. Let's go into a Metal Raiders pack. I don't know what we haven't pulled from Metal Raiders. We might have pulled almost everything at this point. We pulled Gay Guardian, Beast Skull, Summon Skull. Um, at least in terms of like re unlimited or something. We pulled a lot of it. What have we not pulled? I bet we haven't pulled something, but I don't know what it is. We got a Leo Gun. Feral Imp. Yadukaru, Dragon Piper, and a Mask of Darkness. Okay, Niwa. What is that guy? What's that guy's name mean again? I can't remember. Final three packs of the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to subscribe. 
We got, as I said earlier in the video, insane openings coming up. Absolutely insane. A lot of fun for you guys, I think, and a lot of fun for me as well. Oh, is that uh, the genie? That's not a giant, that's a genie. <laughs> I've never seen that card. Dragons of Legend 3? Okay, I've seen it before because I've opened that. So at some point I've seen it. I just don't remember it. Okay. Contract with Dark Master. We got a Shadow Knight Archfiend. Checkmate. And Ojama Trio Legendary Flame Lord. Okay. This is the first time we pulled Vampire Lord, and I've opened like 10 Judgment of Anubis. It's crazy. Final chance of the Buster Blader for this video. We've got a Heart of the Underdog. Be gone, Knave. The Thing in the Crater. Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness. This one tends to come out of IOC as well. Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness. Super rare. So a lot of supers out of IOC today. Nothing insane, but we did get an epic pull out of Dark Crisis. Let's get into the final pack. One pack. We can't pick this up. Of Legend of Blue Eyes. Think of the possibilities. Blue Eyes Black Dragon. Exodia. Dark Magician. Red Eyes Black Dragon. All of this could be in this one pack. Well, not all, but one of these could be in this one pack. Here we go. Let's do this, guys. Skull Servant. Bum, 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 Mystical Elf will take that as super rare. That's not bad. That's not bad. We'll take it. I've pulled so many Mystical Elves. But it's better than a rare. I mean, we got the, the legendary flower wolf. You guys have seen Sealed Showdown. That is a very powerful card. Very powerful. All right. From our 24 packs, we pulled one great common. We got a good rare there. Then we got one. Okay. There's a reprint somewhere. Two. Not a reprint. A repeat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine super rares. That's kind of a lot of supers, actually. One Ultra, so a little lackey on the Ultras, and we did get a Secret Rare. So we got 11 foils on 24 packs. So that's pretty amazing. It wasn't a lot of Supers. Double Confiscation. Pretty cool. It was a fun opening, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are excited about these epic announcements coming up. And that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh! Yu-Gi-Oh!